what if you have a compound statement with a parenthesis? Does that make it more complicated? Not necessarily. Okay. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to draw a blue box, an orange box, a blue ball, and an orange ball. And as soon as you're finished, come back here. That's right, you're going to have to pause the video, draw these objects, then come back here. I can wait. Okay. Let's go through this, shall we? Now, I'll show you the symbols later. But anyway, let's go through this. We have, in parentheses, blue or not box. That's in parentheses. The rest of this is outside the parentheses and not blue. Okay. Now then, you have a blue box, so it's both blue and it's a box. You have a blue ball. It's blue, but it's not a box. You also have an orange box. It's not blue, but it is a box. Now you have an orange ball, and it's neither one. Okay. Now let's take a look at these column right here. Is it blue? We're going to fill that in. It's going to be identical to this. Is it blue? We're going to fill in this column right over here. See this column right over here? We're going to fill it in exactly the way we're doing it over here. Let's do that. Whoops. Okay. As you can see here, these two columns right here, this one here, and this one way over here, look exactly like this one here. Now what about this one right here? We want it to look exactly like this one right here. So this one's going to look right here. See this one right here says box? We're going to make it look exactly like this one here. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And now you can see that this column right here looks exactly like this column right here. Now when you see the word not, it is that exactly the opposite of the other word. Okay, so when you see the word not, you assume that it's exactly the opposite of the other word. In other words, if the object is blue, then it's not orange. If the object is blue, it's not orange. And that's how we're going to fill out this one right here. We're going to fill out this one right here, this column right here, the exact opposite of this one right here. Let's do this. As you can see now, this column right here is exactly the opposite of this column right here. Now what about this column right here? It's going to be the opposite of this column right here. Okay. And now you can see that this column right here is exactly the opposite of this column right here. This is the opposite of this. What about this column right here? Well, the object either has to be blue or it has to be a ball because it's not a box. Okay? If the object is blue or it's a ball or not a box, you know, then this one will be true. Okay. In the first case, the object is definitely blue. Even though it's also a box, it's definitely blue. So it, it, it's at least one of these two statements. So this one's true. Alright. Now even though you now have a blue ball instead of a blue box, it's still blue. So this statement is still true. It's definitely blue even though it's not a box.
Now, as I said, the object here either has to be blue or it has to be a ball. One or the other. Well, in this case, the object isn't blue and it's a box instead of a ball. So this whole statement is false. Okay. Now, what if the object is a ball even if it isn't blue? Okay. Well, one of the conditions is met. It is definitely a ball even though it's not blue. So this statement is, of course, true. Okay. Now that brings us to our final column here. This is the and. This statement right here has to be true, and this statement also has to be true. Okay? In this statement, we establish that this is a blue box, so it is either blue or it's, you know, in this case, even though it was a box, it was definitely blue, so it satisfied one of these two conditions. So this whole statement is definitely true in this case. So that's going to make... Now, that starts it, okay? First of all, this whole statement is true. Okay? Like I said, this whole statement is true because even though it's a blue box, it is definitely blue, so it's, it's a whole true statement. But the thing is that the, that not only does this statement have to be true, but it also has to be this statement here too. Okay? Well, even though this statement is true, the rest of this is not true. Why? Because the object is blue. So this statement actually will end up being false. Because it has to be a combination of statements. We established it was a blue box, so blue and not box, that statement's true. But when you read and not, bo uh, and not blue, then the statement becomes false. Alright. Now what about this statement right here? Well, we've already said that even though this statement is true, okay, because it is definitely blue, even, and it of course it's not a box, because you can see it's not a box, and it's blue, so both parts of the statement are true. Well, the thing is, that it can't be blue and orange at the same time. It can't be blue and orange at the same time. So this part of the statement is false. Okay. Now what about the third statement? Well... This part of the statement is false because, number one, the object isn't blue, and number two, the, the object is a box, and it's not a box. Okay? It, okay, so what we're saying here is that even though the object isn't blue, it is still a box and not a ball, so this statement is false. Well, if this part of the statement is false, then the rest of this is going to be false, too. All right. So the only time that this whole statement is true is down here. Is the object blue? No. Is it not a is it not a box? Yes, because now you have an orange ball, okay? So this this part is true because you have an orange ball and it's one of the two. Now the thing is because it's not blue, that makes the the whole statement finally true. Okay. Because it's an orange ball, it's not a box. Let me say that again. Because it's an orange ball, it's not a box. So even though it's not blue, it does satisfy the whole statement. So that makes this part of the statement true. And because it's an orange ball, and it's not a blue ball, then that makes the rest of the statement true, and that finally is where your truth comes in. And that's the only way that this whole statement becomes true. So...
Let me show you in symbols what that actually reads as. Okay, if you'll remember your symbols, A, or, not B, and not B. That's what that whole thing is way up here. Now, I know that was a lot of T's and F's that we had to fill in here, but finally we came up with a statement where the whole thing was true. The orange ball, it is a ball and not a box, even though it's, it's orange and not blue. And, of course, it's not blue. And that makes that whole statement true. Whew. Sounds like a lot of hard work, but it's not. If you really rationally think this out, you'll figure it out. All right, I will tell you more in a future video. Stay, stay tuned.